Be safe.
We need to find a way out, little one. What? Who are you? What do you want? Well done, precious one. What do you want? We came this way. Hank, stay with me, Hank. That's not good, Mistrio. Not at all. We may reach help, but... He will not. of March, 1937. I am Tessie Trianon. I survived the crash of the plane Cassandra. With me are Hank Mitchell, Yasmin Shabani, Dr. Anton Metzier, Leon de Vries, and Malik Tambura. My husband Selim and others are in a cave near the crash and need help. Some have died. Richard Fairchild could not handle what we saw here. He ran. Alex Sterling has gone after him. We can't wait. We must do something that is... utter insanity. Hank Mitchell, our leader and my friend, was badly wounded by a creature in the fort. Yasmin calls it a ghoul. A flesh-eating monster from desert legends. She may be right. Hank is losing blood fast. And he will die. There is no time to get to help. There is a shrine here. To a local spirit. This will sound like madness. She appeared to us. A figure of glowing light. She spoke to us. She offered healing and to save us from the desert. And I... I agreed. She led us to an amulet, hidden here in the shrine. 
I took it. Now there is a... a shimmering doorway in the rock. I swear it wasn't there before. If we step through, Hank might survive. He is so pale. Oh, Selim, I don't know what else to do. This is crazy. But I promise, I promise, I will return to you. Fuck. This is insane. I'm here, Doctor. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Ah, you are still here. Well, where are you? The Oasis. We were here before. What happened to us? I just read uh, something I wrote. There's a spirit, a, a glowing spirit. I've seen her. I will explain it all, Tassi. Come to the village. We have lit a beacon in the tower. Look for the smoke. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, you talked about my blackouts. I have these marks on my skin, and I keep losing control. You gave me a medicine. What's wrong with me? I, uh, I do not know for certain. We need diagnostic implements, reference books, civilization. Remember, Tassi. Control yourself. Avoid fear. Avoid anger at all costs. I have to go. Yes, man, she needs me. Doctor? Doctor! Shit! There's the smoke. go walking in the Luxembourg Gardens and show you where Alice used to play. Be okay, little one. Please be okay. Uh, when we get to the village, you can meet the doctor. And Yasmin, uh, she's from Algiers. She's nice. And we'll figure out what's wrong with me. All will be well. All will be well. Oh, I really don't like this. Close. What the hell is this place now?
Either the well was very deep, or she fell very slowly, for she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her, and to wonder what was going to happen next. Every step we take it feels like we're further from her. There must be a way back. I find myself again confined. A day should not matter, but each day feels like waste. There is so much to do. Tamaku tells me that now, with Vitae, I have forever. But the people who depend on me do not. There is always something. Invasion, rivalry, sickness, penury. I have my duty. Perhaps I should end these sessions, now they've found a way to stabilize the disease. I should be ecstatic. I should accept my fate and move on. It is such a faint hope that they can find any way to heal me. That they can find any way to grant my dearest wish. Now you are eternal says Tamaku. Now you need no heir. None of them understand. This is not about politics or securing a future. This is not for the Empire. This is for me. Just for me. Another rift. That could be our way out. It feels like 
like it's waking up. a white sun at the great gate. It tore the air and the land. A corruption of living flesh crawls from the hole in the world and turns all to ash and rust. The city falls. I am to blame. My companions took my formula, some to use it to destroy the Vitae at the gate, others to infect the Vitae pipelines and end the suffering. The gate has indeed fallen, but catastrophically, unleashing energies beyond belief. Still the factories scream. We have failed in the worst of ways. It is my duty to stay at my post, to see if I can find means to end it. I have no choice but to use the Vitae. An ocean holds the great empress to life, so a meager portion will suffice for me. If any find this record, know that I was the traitor Kita, alchemist, apprentice to Tamaku. Forgive us our folly. It has taken me many, many rises in the gaps between my work for Tamaku, but finally it is done. I have a formula which is in sympathy with the pulse of the orb. I can provoke the symptoms of the red flesh, and with it will come destruction, channeled through the Vitae network. This might be the answer we seek.
Tamaku's early experiments with the orbs summoned an entity, a creature, that scarred the world with its passing and wreaked utter destruction. The scar took the form of living, pulsating flesh. I have studied the orb, and I now know why the scars appear. I believe I can make use of the same perturbation to achieve our own ends.
Yes, but what is one and one? Alice? Alice can't play. Alice can't play. Alice is gone. Don't worry, Mama. I'm here. Together. <laughs> 